So not long ago, I discovered a pretty neat tool that's able to generate interfaces for you. So user interfaces, like the ones you see right here. So I've got this landing page. You've got this other landing page for Realty, right? And here's another of uh, called Mindful Note. And these are all generated based on text. So not just landing pages, you can pretty much create user interfaces for web or mobile. This one is a performance dashboard that you can uh, generate too. And here's a mobile version of an edit profile page that you can instantly generate. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact tool that you can use to turn text into user interfaces. Okay, the tool is called Galileo and you can sign up for free and receive about 200 credits to generate these user interfaces. So although it is free to try, they do have paid plans. With the free option, you're given 200 credits per month. This gives you equivalent to about 20 design generations and edits. Whereas with the standard plan, you get 1,200 credits per month. That's equivalent to about 120 design generations. So that's just something to note before you get started. It's not completely free. And I know some of you are like, oh, this tool is not free. You said it's free, but it's not. But you know, most tools have that free kind of freemium option with options to upgrade. So no kind of software can survive otherwise without support from our support. So how it works is after you've signed up, what you can do is use its text to UI tool, create a new design. And this may all look familiar because it kind of looks like chat GPT and other AI tools that generate different things like images and videos. How it works is you click on new design, you describe what design you want, Let's say you want a landing page for a clothing brand that's clean and simple. Choose whether you want the tool to generate mobile or web, or just click web. And then you can only select public because you're only on a free plan. If you do want to keep it private so that only you can see the image generations, then make sure you upgrade. But we'll click on generate. And what Galileo will do is work on the design, come up with a few variations. This will roughly take a minute or two. And voila, Galileo has produced three different designs. You can click on each one to expand it and see what it looks like. Pretty good. I mean, take a look at some of the features. We've got the navigation, the hero uh, picture right there, some featured images and products. So it's a good way to create that foundation before you start editing or start designing your main uh, design, whether you're a designer, a marketer or whatnot, for or if you're just playing around uh, and getting some inspiration, getting some ideas along. Here's another version. We've got this with different feature boxes. Here's another as well. In addition to what it produces, if you scroll down, you can see uh, what the variants are. So variant one, it's a landing page with a full width hero image carousel. All right, and it explains and describes what else it produced so that you have an idea of what it actually came up with, you know, what the AI came up with. Below the images, you'll see this right here where you can change the appearance. So going from light to dark, different color themes, or you can choose a custom one, changing the corner radius of the elements how sharp or how rounded or curved you want it. Also the ability to change the different fonts of the body and the headings. You can also change the theme right there to also light or dark, different colors, different shades. To give you an idea, let's go ahead and switch it to dark mode, apply the theme, which will take another 30 seconds or so. And here we've got the dark themes going on. In addition to everything I've mentioned, what you can do is simply copy the interface that you see or the one that you like. Let's say we like this third version. We can click on Figma. That'll copy the design to your clipboard. Head to Figma. I created a new project here and then I'll just do a paste from my keyboard and voila. We don't have to start from scratch. We don't have to put in, put in all the elements, the images, the text, everything's done. And now I can simply work with this for my clients or for my own projects. As you can see, I can click on it 
I can also edit different elements and text, as you can see right here. All the layers are included. Going back, you can edit a specific variant. Let's say you like this one, but you want to uh, specify something else and have it more detailed or have something show up, like adding a section of similar products or remove a particular button or text from the area. It's all based on text as opposed to manually designing it all yourself. In this example here, I wanted Galileo to generate a landing page for productivity software, blue theme. As you can see, it's applied it. It's got that the blue accents going on. And here's what we've got, right? So three different versions and of course, and a description of each variant. Here, I wanted Galileo to produce customer dashboards showing e-commerce sales. So again, if I don't want to design this from scratch, I can easily just take one of these. Let's say this one here, we've got recent transactions, top selling products, pretty cool. And this is something I envision, let's say for my future product or whatnot, simply copy. And then once again, I can copy the design to Figma, paste it over. However, on that note, there is a little caveat. So if you're on the free plan, there is a limit in terms of how many times you can copy a design uh, using the Figma tool. As you can see here on the free plan, you can only do it three times. So three Figma exports, whereas on the pay plans, you get unlimited Figma exports. So Galileo can come handy, especially if you want to spark some design ideas. And if your creative juices just isn't flowing today, you can go ahead, use Galileo, and then even check out some of the ones that the users in the explore page have generated so you can see some here and just like most ai kind of conversion user generated tools work uh, it all depends on how you engineer or prompt en engineer that actual prompt right so if you're more descriptive perhaps you will get a better result you can see this example here design the above the fold area for a desktop online shops homepage specifically catering to high fidelity audio enthusiasts so right there really good prompt really descriptive and in the end he's got something that's quite unique right so we've got all this going on so it's not only the user interfaces that you can see you can actually see the text prompts that the users have entered into Galileo in order to produce what you see here. And that's how you can quickly and easily generate user interfaces within an instant using AI. If this video was helpful, by all means, give this video a thumbs up and I'm looking forward to sharing the next training with you. Thanks so much for watching and do take care.